Alright, hey guys, welcome to another one of my Minecraft videos. This is RetroGamer420 here, and this is one of my videos in a series of redstone tutorials I've been making, so if you like this redstone tutorial, maybe check out some of my other ones. And this is my design here for a redstone uh, combination door. I know there's quite a few different ones floating around on the on YouTube, so... This one here I came up with myself, and it's a little bit different from the other ones. I'm not sure if it's as compact, but it's pretty easy to make, and um, has the advantage of being able to add this on to infinity, um, infinity buttons. I'll show you how this works, though. So let's just reset this. It's the reset switch, so it resets the, the lock. So I got these all marked, so these are the ones to hit to get it right. So we hit this, that, and that. And you'll be able to change the combination yourself. So you go into the door. This is just my cheap little mock-up house. Automatically locks for you. Open the door and you'll be able to leave. Um, you could just use this as a room in your house or whatever you want to do with it. So, okay, let's take a look. Let's say somebody got this wrong. So just make sure it's reset. So say they were one off and they hit this one. And they got every other one right. It's not gonna open. So even if they keep trying it and trying it and trying it and trying it, it's not gonna work until they reset it and get it 100% correct. All right, so let's just reset it. And now it'll open. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make this. I got this all color coded for you guys. Alright guys, here's the first step of the video, or of this tutorial. And we're going to be building some memory cells. Uh, right here would probably be the best spot to stop, pause the video and replicate it. And I'll go ahead and I'll tell you a bit what's going on here. These yellow blocks here are memory cells. So this right here is the memory cell and the blue is just transferring the power upwards. That's all that's doing is just transferring it upwards. So it's all replicated. So it's the same thing. Another memory cell, another memory cell, and it goes on. And I'll show you how this kind of works. These are your inputs. So that's an input, that's an input and so on. So, for example, power will come in here by the press of a button. So the power will come in and you'll notice it changes the state there. Right? And then that's storing the power and then um, to reset it, you just go like that. So this is the reset line here that's going to the back of the memory cells. And these are the inputs coming in from the front, and your door is going to be like over there. Don't worry about if uh, it looks like this, one looks like this, and one looks like that, and one looks like this. Don't worry about that right now. If you want, you can just reset them all just by doing that, though. So yeah, I'll pause the video around here somewhere, replicate it, and we'll move on to the next spot. So the next spot here, we're going to be adding the, the wiring. So everything stayed the same there. We're going to be hooking up um, our uh, reset switch line. So our reset switch button here is going to be hooked up. And our door, pressure plate door reset uh, switch button is just going to tie in there. And we're going to reset it that. And we're going to hook up all our buttons. So uh, the easiest way to wire this all up would be to start from this. Your last um, memory cell input. Count 16 blocks. So 16 redstone here. So lay 16 redstone down. And then snake that inwards. And that will go to your first door. Line up your first button with with that memory cell over there. So 
you just line this button up with that memory cell, count 16, everything should just fall into place after that. So to show you, um, just actually this shouldn't even be there, or should it? Uh, no, it doesn't have to be there. Whatever. Right now we're just worrying about this pressure plate. So I'll show you how to test this. Okay, so if you got this all this part all right, you'll see what's you'll see something happening here. So each button I press, you'll notice this torch will turn off. Same thing here. That torch will turn off. So if you got this all wired correctly and nothing's interfering, one line will be going and uh, turning these off like the so it'll just keep going down the list and make sure you got all that working properly and then go ahead and test it out so when you hit your reset switch that it turns on all your torches there so I'll try to I'll give you a shot here uh, maybe try to pause it and replicate it from here you know or if you like maybe this angle pause it from here and replicate it but yeah just make sure everything's working properly here so when you hit a lever or hit a button it turns off and then when you use your reset switch it turns off and that's the step right here all right next step get here guys now we're going to be adding our first series of AND gates so what's happening here is everything stayed the same we just add in this top row and what's happening is the power is just being transferred up top to these AND gates here and the AND gates are going to be checking checking uh, the current state of the redstone so make sure you have these uh, redstones up top make sure you have these torches here um, maybe this would be a good spot to pause it somewhere around here or maybe something like that and go ahead and replicate that like so all right next spot here guys once you're done all that so over here we added our next uh, sets of AND gates that are going to do some more checks to yeah because it, it checks it once then it checks it again against another set of AND gates and then it does a final check here and then it finally goes down and opens your door so so you're going to be building one three more AND gates and you're going to be wiring it to the door but I'll, this would probably be a good spot to pause it and replicate these AND gates here and if you just kind of go down I'll show you how this works all this is doing is just going under your um, reset switch and it's going to this inverter to two inverters there which is opening your door and your door should be open if you did this right so everything should be working properly like how you, how you tested it in the last one if you didn't test it so those switches should be kind of going off like that and you know you reset it and your door should open <laughs> okay so this spot, by this time you almost have it all done, so if you got this far, here's the next spot right here. And the next spot is to actually um, put in your, your combination. So let's say you wanted your combination to be, let's say, this button right here, maybe, or whatever, this button. And maybe this button and maybe this button so if you want that kind of a combination all we got to do is so I'll just count here one two three so it starts on the third one so the third button so here's the first button second button third button so this is the third button so one button two button three button four five six seven eight so wherever you want your combination 
you would just add an inverter here. So I said three in a row. I mean, you can make it one button to get in. You can make it seven buttons. It's up to you. But this is three in a row just to show you. So let's just reset it to make sure it's going to work here. And we'll hit these three in a row. And it should open. And there we go. So we'll just walk through to reset it. So I think you guys can kind of get the idea of how to uh, change the combination lock. So every uh, button is a uh, representative of one of these redstone torches. So this is the first button once again, second, third, fourth, fifth. So if you wanted to change it, maybe you don't want that one. Maybe you wanted those two and maybe the first one. So you just add the add the, the inverter here like so. So just add the inverter on any line where you want the button to, to be. And that's how you'll change it. So now combination is now the first button. First button right here is actually the reset switch. So, so yeah, it'll be first button, second, or whatever. And then it'll open. Alright guys, I think that sums up how to do this for you. Um, if you're having some troubles, make sure you um, uh, you have these redstones here. Everything's running directly to your AND gates, either on the side or like that. Or just replicate it exactly how you've seen it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, check my other redstone tutorials. Peace out.